Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. It's about 11.30 a.m. California time here. Uh, taking a look at the latest information on Hurricane Adalia. Adalia, i got to get that right. Still a hurricane. Uh, it is rapidly uh, declining, though. We still have maximum sustained winds of about 75 miles per hour, which makes it a Category 1. It did make landfall over here. At 130 mile per hour sustained winds um, earlier this morning along the Florida coast as a Category 4 hurricane. Uh, seen some damage uh, throughout social media around Perry and other areas there in Florida. So pretty significant storm surge associated with this as well. Uh, right now it is uh, definitely weakening. Expected to be a tropical storm here. Tomorrow morning, local time, 8 a.m. there off the um, North Carolina uh, area, it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and check out. I wanted to show you guys the uh, imagery here of the progression of Hurricane Adalia. Pretty awesome to see. Uh, let's go back here. Animation loops. So this is the uh, current image here within the last... Uh, 24, uh, that's not 24 hours, those are 24 loops. Let's go um, 120 loops here. kind of want to see the eye wall earlier last night as it was uh, making its way towards the Florida area. Very defined eye wall. Um, it did strengthen a little bit into Category 4 before ultimately uh, getting shredded there due to the land. But it did produce uh, some significant rainfall, some damage up here. And, um, you know, they, they pretty much called it, I think. There's a, there was a little bit of wobble here with this hurricane. Uh, but it did miss, as far as the brunt of the system, did miss areas around Tampa Bay. They obviously got some tropical storm force winds, from what I hear, and some rain, lots of rain. Uh, but now that is all headed off to the northeast as a, uh, again, Category 1. But that's expected to drop pretty soon to tropical storm. So these folks up here have uh, a lot to worry about for right now as far as rainfall goes. Definitely seeing uh, quite a bit of rainfall. Let's go ahead and bring this up in the last six hours. This is the radar imagery of the hurricane. Stand by while that gets in check there. Headed up towards Savannah area. A lot of rainfall being produced with this. Again, it's going to be weakening. Not a whole lot. It's still got a little eye there in the loop of the radar. It's kind of crazy to see that area of circulation there over land. See that right there? Pretty crazy. So that is headed off to the northeast. A lot of chat. People asking about, well, is it supposed to loop back around? Well, let's check out the latest model here and see what it does. Probably not going to be as strong even if it does. Uh, but there's that area of circulation. It, yeah, it looks like it gets split and taken up off towards the uh, northeast yesterday this model run was showing a loop back around to this area in florida and uh, that would not be good because that could obviously create some more flooding issues out there but the latest model it looks like once it gets out to the atlantic it gets pulled uh, it strengthens a little bit then it gets pulled off further towards the northeast kind of does a loop around there see that <laughs> let's check out the uh that's crazy. Let's check out the... Can we see this on the eastern? Maybe we'll be able to see this. Let's check it out here real quick and see what we got. So there it is today. Looped out into the Atlantic. Uh, some tropical system there. Just kind of spinning and then it gets caught up and... Oops. Doesn't look like it's going to hit landfall, but it kind of wants to. It wants to head back into the east coast area. Either way, sometimes these systems do that, but it's kind of neat to see as far as the models go. But uh, we'll check that a little bit later. It's kind of hard to tell exactly if, if that's what's going to take place. All right, uh, California earthquake activity. What do we got going on? Let's see. We are lighting up a little bit out here outside of uh, the Willows area. This is along the Sacramento Valley, the west side. Now, this is a thrust fault that sits up here uh, right up against the... Uh, it's called the Great Valley Thrust Fault Zone. And this area has seen a little bit of earthquake activity recently. This earthquake, a 2.9 near Stony Gorge Reservoir, 18 kilometers deep. Uh, I think that has to do, again, with the thrust fault that sits up here, this ridging. You can see the faults 
how they fold up here against the, the uh, side of the valley. Uh, so a little bit of activity. That's obviously a sign of stress up here against the North American and the Pacific plate boundary. Keep an eye on that. We are seeing a handful of smaller quakes out here uh, in the area. Also one off of the plate boundary early this morning, a 3.4. A little bit of activity throughout the Cascades today. Nothing major going on. Uh, let's double check the uh, seismograph station up there at Mount St. Helens. They've been having a little bit of earthquake activity up there recently and not a whole lot of reporting on it. So let's see what the latest seismograph station shows here for the area of Mount St. Helens. Hopefully we got access to it. Maybe. There we go. There's one earthquake right here. That's probably, um, I'm guessing around maybe a 0.9 or 0.7, very small earthquake activity. Uh, so there's not a whole lot showing up. I do have a Mount St. Helens seismograph station here. I'm sure that probably picked that one up. Looks like another spike right here as well, but uh, there's still a little bit of small earthquake activity taking place here at Mount St. Helens. Um, for now, I just think it's earthquake activity, but uh, you know, over the last week or, or over the last few days, I should say, there's been a handful of earthquakes up there. Let me show you guys the last seven days of movement. A little bit up here around Mount Rainier as well. Some at the summit, some at the, uh, the southwestern edge. But uh, Mount St. Helens here, right at the crater area, seeing a little bit of uh, swarming kicking up throughout the last few days. And most of it's relatively, eh, about three to six kilometers deep or so. So just kind of watching that, seeing how uh, things take place there. The rest of California, well, not a whole lot of movement going on out here today. Very general, pretty much microquake activity all over the place. Uh, but no major significant swarms going on that I can notice there across the California area. Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes early this morning. Again, you know, Yellowstone, no stranger to earthquakes and earthquake swarms. Just uh, a little bit of small quake activity occurring up here. All right, uh, what else we got? Uh, a little bit of movement across Colorado, Texas. Oil fields getting hit today, it looks like. Uh, a little bit of activity across the New Madrid seismic zone as well. 2.2 out in Missouri. 5.8 kilometers deep. Any major movement overnight? Doesn't look like it. Still seeing some activity down here in the South America region with a handful of earthquakes in the 4 and 5 range, mostly along the Peru Chile Trench. Eh, can't say if we're overdue for a mega quake out here or not. Uh, they do get some large earthquakes. I mean, it's, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to accumulate some stress, so we may see some potential out there for some bigger ones. Out here across the New Zealand area looks pretty quiet. Uh, for now, the latest uh, GeoNet servers, see what's going on here. Let me refresh this five minutes ago, a couple smaller earthquakes. I'm not seeing any major lighten up here of the board indicating any major shaking. So things are just kind of uh, neutral there for now. Vanuatu area getting hit southward along this plate boundary. This has been pretty quiet, so we're filling in with some fives here uh, in the last 24 hours. A little bit of activity uh, from yesterday here across the Java Trench. Things have gone awfully quiet up here across Japan. Look at that, not a whole lot of movement uh, going on for now across this area. Goodness, all right, so Big Island of Hawaii, let's double check this and see what we have. Uh, things kind of tapering off. Not a whole lot of significant earthquake swarming going on, although we're still seeing some activity. This is just kind of uh, down there where the magma is. About one or two kilometers deep, it looks like. Let's check out the hazard notification system here from the HVO. This is put out yesterday, and it was not uh, any of worthy information. It's currently not erupting there, so just kind of waiting on the Kilauea Volcano seeing what happens all right storm prediction center has an enhanced risk out here across portions of south and north carolina that is due to what will be soon tropical storm adalia out here across the eastern portion of the country bringing with it a 10 percent chance for tornadoes 
out there across this area of the country so kind of a big deal if you're out there today keep an eye on the sky a little windy out there i'm sure again this uh this hurricane right now is definitely this is some older information but it looks like 8 a.m tomorrow this will be uh just off the coast here of the north carolina area but until then um we got a tropical storm warning up and down the coast out here so uh just a heads up you know obviously not quite the impact that um the brunt of it received down here in florida uh, but it uh, still can cause a little bit of hectic delays out there and travel and whatnot in your plan so just take a take a moment to make sure you check your weather out there all right folks i'm gonna jump off here have a good day got a pretty busy day got a few things i got to do so we'll catch you guys back here sometime later tonight uh, unless something major happens space weather a real quick glance at this there's not a whole lot going on uh, things are fairly neutral there's no flaring taking place and as you can see uh, the bright regions over here the eastern limb of the sun is uh worth watching we'll see how it plays out in the coming days take care we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight peace out